Well, we know these Baltimore Ravens, they were going to cast this net far and wide. And we even made the video this morning saying that we needed to hear some reports about the Ravens moving and shaking and talking to some people, scheduling some interviews and whatnot. But the Ravens, they were ahead of the game. They were ahead of the game. Because Josina Anderson reported that, I'm told, Cliff Kingsbury had conversations on Sunday. Sunday. Not today. Today's Monday. Sunday was yesterday. So... This conversation was before we even told him to wake up. So they was already woke. So my fault, Ravens, stay woke. Anyway, she said, I'm told Cliff Kingsbury had conversations Sunday with the Ravens about potentially joining their staff. So Cliff Kingsbury, Mr. Air Raid himself, over there was a head coaching Kyler Murray. Had a little bit of Hollywood for a tiny bit. Had a little bit of DeAndre Hopkins for a little bit, too. Had a little bit of A.J. Green. Had a little bit of Rondell Moore. Had a little bit of everybody over there. But anyway. Let me just finish reading the report. I'm told Cliff Kingsbury had conversations Sunday with the Ravens about potentially joining their staff. However, those talks did not produce an imminent fit on timing and other factors at this specific time per league source. Now, that is, is very vague because it doesn't really let us know what happened. It doesn't really let us know who it happened with. And what I mean when I say that, it doesn't say, oh, well, the Ravens were like, ah, Cliff, you're not a good fit. Or if Cliff was like, ah, Ravens, you're not a good fit. So it, it, it could have been either way. Now, if it was coming from maybe Cliff's side, if he told them, like, hey, look, y'all not a good fit, my biggest assumption would be, and again, we don't know, because again, this report, it doesn't really tell us much, but um, my biggest assumption would be that it would be Lamar Jackson. Like Cliff Kingsbury would be like, uh, hey, what's going on with Lamar? What's going on with your quarterback? Like, yeah, hey, I would love the job. I would love to come help turn things around over there. But what's going on with your QB? And if they say, <laughs> well, we talking. Cliff Kingsbury would be like, do y'all have a deal in place? You got something ready? And he'd be like, ah, we talking. Uh, okay, well, we're not talking anymore. So thanks, but no thanks. Let me know when you get your stuff situated because, again, it said, um, again, very vague, So, but it says those talks did not produce an imminent fit on timing and other factors at this specific time. So that, that's what I would take from that if it's coming from Cliff Kingberry's side. Right now, the timing is they, they don't know what – nobody knows what's going on with Lamar right now. No offensive coordinator who could – and, and that is so big, man. That is, that is so big that whoever takes this job – they honestly do not know who their quarterback is going to be. They don't. They really don't. We could talk franchise tag. We could talk possibility of a long-term deal, and that's great. There's also possibility of a trade. There's a lot of possibilities right now, and we don't know what's going to happen. So whoever takes this job, that, that actually makes this job that much harder to hire somebody for. Uh, especially with somebody uh, who got experience and who is not just any random person, or anything like that, because they could be like they could look at it like, hey, I, I, I got I got to hold down my name. I got to hold down my, my, my brand. I got to hold down myself. And y'all ain't even really holding down y'all quarterback right now. So y'all ain't going to hold me down unless now. Hey, now I didn't know. I didn't even know you could do this. I didn't find this out till yesterday. Remember Vic, Fan, Vic Fangio? Um, who is now the Dolphins defensive coordinator, I believe. He used to be the Broncos coach and whatnot. But anyway, Vic Fangio, who said that Harbaugh and them Ravens, they don't care about player safety. But anyway, and, and anyway, Vic Fangio, uh, he got signed to a two-week deal with the Eagles to help them beat Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Obviously, it didn't work, uh, but they signed him to a two-week deal. What the Ravens need to do, they need to take a page out of that notebook. And whoever the next offensive coordinator ends up being, they need to sign him to a one-month or a two-month deal. Because that will give them time, some more time. It won't be all the time in the world, but that'll give them more time to be like, all right, hey, you're here. You can start implementing some of your stuff and whatnot. Get a guy's your playbook or whatever. But... That'll give us some time to work with Lamar Jackson and see if we can come up with something. And, hey, worst case scenario, if we can't come up with anything, hey, after two months, you're free. You can, you can go wherever. So, I mean, it, the Eagles did it, so the Ravens might as well follow suit. Because, again, I had no clue you could even do that. I had no clue you could even do that. But at the same time, when you think about it, like, 
there be players that get signed for a week, then they get cut. But the deals are, are one year deals or whatnot. But a two week deal, that's that's right. I wonder how much it was how much it was worth. But anyway, um, so that would be if if, Kling, if Kiff if Cliff Kingsbury told the Ravens no, but what if they told him no? What would be a reason that they could possibly tell him no? I wonder. Could it be something with power? Could it be something with how much control he could have? No clue. We will probably we'll probably never know. We'll probably never find out. Um, but I just I don't know. Or maybe they just they interviewed and whatnot, and they were just like, "Hey, th- this ain't the place for you," because it happens. <laughs> it definitely happens. I, speaking from experience, but I, I tell I told y'all, man, I, I done been on plenty of interviews in my life. A lot of them went great. A lot of them went bad. They all learn experiences. But for some that went bad, sometimes you just know. Like, whether it's bad on my part, whether it's the company, and I'm like, oh, no, nah, this, this ain't for me. It, it, it's been both ways. It's been both ways. Sometimes I may go through an interview process and whatnot, and they, they, a lot of them, because they go through a lot of interviews, so they see a lot of people. They, they, they can tell by your, um, your facial expression. They can tell by your responses to stuff. They can tell by uh, your posture. They can tell by, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? They can just tell by your, 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 your I don't want to say aura, but just your vibe or whatever. They can tell, like, if this is something that you're really into or you just like, uh, you know what, nah, this ain't for me. A lot of times they can, they can tell that. So if they're going through all these interviews and whatnot and they look at you, they're talking to you and explaining to the company about you what you would be doing and whatnot, and you're just like... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then they're gonna be like, "Hey, hey, oh, is is, is this? Hey, be real with me. Is this a job for you? And and if you're not interested, that's fine. Uh, cause we got a lot of other candidates. And, and I I appreciate stuff like that. Cause I love when people are straightforward. And it's like, hey, if you you don't want to waste your time, I don't want to waste my time. Okay, bye. This ain't working. Whether they see that in me or I see it in them, and I'm like, oh no, this ain't the place for me. So maybe, maybe." During an interview, or during a phone call, during a Zoom, during a FaceTime, whatever they did, even in a text message, whatever it was, uh, maybe they just got turned off by Cliff Kingsbury and was just like, look, eh, no, mm, yeah, uh-uh. Or maybe he told them, like, look, I just went to Thailand. I loved it so much. I, I loved it. It was so nice that I'm going to go back twice. Maybe he told them that. Maybe, like, I got another vacation lined up, so I ain't going to be able to come in yet. And they were like, you know what, mm, just enjoy your vacation. We'll, we'll we'll talk later, maybe, possibly, probably not though. So I don't know. Uh, again, this this is, is very vague. So we just um we 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 really just don't know uh, anything. It's so much that we just don't know, and we just waiting. We waiting. But that's what makes it so much fun, man. That's what makes all all this the off season so much fun, because we try to put pieces, different pieces of the puzzle together, and try to figure stuff out. Sometimes we get it right. Sometimes we get it wrong. But we just have fun in the process. But anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, and just like Cliff Kingsbury either told the Ravens or the Ravens told Cliff Kingsbury, we out.